for today's Let's Start With Art project. I was inspired by an artist whose work was collected by Walter Mathis. Her name is Mary Bonner, and she was a printmaker in the 1920s and 30s. Mary Bonner's main style of art was etching, it's a type of printmaking. And the process is very complex and requires heavy printing presses and strong chemicals, many tools and supplies that we would never have at home. But printmakers do a lot of preparation with drawings and sketches before they actually make their final print. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn some drawing techniques that can actually give you the effect of an etching in a drawing. Here are the supplies that you're going to need for this project. Pencil. If you have a charcoal pencil or stick, that's great. You can use that. Erasers are always handy. Fine line markers are great to have. Of course, drawing paper. And if you have a board to lean on, that's always a good idea too. So etchings have a lot of lines and a lot of shading and shadows in them. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of examples of some of Mary Bonner's work so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So for example, in this etching, you can see all the tiny lines that she drew really close together to create shadows. In some cases, they're so close together, they look like a solid area. Same thing in this lovely etching, where you can see incredible detail created just by shadows, lines, crisscross lines, straight lines, and even some dotting. Here's another example uh, from Mary Bonner's collection of some really dramatic shadow work. The first thing you need to do is find something that you'd like to draw a picture of. A simple sketch, even just some simple shapes if you're too intimidated by a more complex subject. I chose this flower. I love this flower. It looks like it has hearts in the petals. And here's the sketch that I did of the flower. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of those shading techniques that we talked about a little while ago. The first thing is cross hatching. And cross hatching is simply a collection of lines along the edge of your subject matter. And depending on where your light is coming from, you will shadow your object. For example, if your source of light is coming from the side of your object, you're going to have a lighter area where the sun or the light is shining on. And the other side of the object will be very dark. And here's another little example. If this light is coming right down from the top, you'll see some shading on either side of the object. So experiment a little bit with your source of light. If you're in a dark room with a flashlight, play around with the shadows and see what happens. If you're outside on a sunny day, see what happens as you move your object around the area. So going back to the cross hatching, if we are getting sunlight or a source of light from this side of the object, I've started darkening the other side. And I can add more and more lines to make it darker and darker. So no matter how you're shadowing, the thicker and darker the lines, the darker the shadow. And I can extend these out if I wanted to and give it even a little more shade. But you see my lines are getting a little farther apart and a little lighter. And then I'm gonna leave all light here because that's where my light is coming from. Another way that you create shade on a drawing is with stippling. And stippling is really just a collection of dots. The tighter and closer the dots are, the darker the shadow. So I have started one here, and my darkest shadow is going to be on this side. And all I'm doing is taking my fine line marker and creating dots. So your basic shading is done with a pencil or a piece of charcoal, and you just pencil it in, 
solid area. And as you get farther and farther away from the darkest edge, you lighten your pencil. And my light source would be coming from this direction, as you see in this sphere, and was what I'm, what I'm creating here. I'm gonna leave this side light, because that's where my light is shining. But I want this to be darker and darker as it moves away from the light. And then the trick to all this, to make it look really like a shadow, is to blend it all together. And you can even just use your fingertip. So here's what I'm working on. This is the beginning of my project. And I just wanted to show you the different techniques in one drawing. Here's the dots and the stippling. Here's the cross hatching. And here's just the regular pencil shading on this petal and the shadow of the flower that I blended with my finger. Thanks for joining me for our Let's Start With Art project. Please come to Villa Finale when you have a chance and you can see some original Mary Bonner prints and drawings. And do check out our blog to learn more about Mary Bonner's life. We hope you've had a good time and I really look forward to seeing you for the next Let's Start With Art project.